what happened the other day with the England against the Euros? Won one nil against Romania, but only England could play friendlies against you know nations like Romania and have more questions than answers heading into the Euros. It's always like this with England, and it? it's always a nonsense. We've got this weird England selection where, for some reason, Gareth Southgate wants to take two injured players with him to the Euros in Jordan Henderson and Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire probably being less injured than Jordan Henderson because he played more recently, but then he's been out for a while, obviously missed the Europa League final. But Jordan Henderson has basically missed three months of football, it feels like. And now he's heading into the Euros with no match sharpness, no match fitness. The Euros are notoriously for, you know, any international tournament is notorious for starting very quickly and ending very quickly, right? Um, players don't really get a chance to play into any kind of rhythm. Um, the tempo is usually really slow or really quick. Um, and, you know, again, there's no real chance to get any sort of match sharpness when you go away for international duty. You sort of just have to start, you know, start going on the ground up, right? You can't really take any time away from it. So it's a very strange selection to put a, pick him in. And then you think to yourself, okay, why are you picking him? Is it because of his dressing room camaraderie and the fact that he has this captain's material thing, whatever, right? But you think at the highest level of football, you just need the best players available who are on the best level of form, especially in international tournament, considering how short it's going to be, especially if you get knocked out. You just want the best options you have available who are the best form, just to kind of hit the ground running. You look at what Spain did with Sergio Ramos, right? He kind of had a bit of an up and down season, mostly due to injuries. And he wasn't taken to the Euros just because, you know, um, what's his name? Luis Enrique just didn't think it'd be a it'd be beneficial for the team overall to have somebody in such poor form. And obviously with these patchy injury records to take him to the Euros and only for him to get injured, you know, in the first 20 minutes of the first game. Because he's, of course, he's an older player. But for some reason, with England, we tend to always carry passengers like this. Like, we've already put ourselves in a bit of a corner by having four right backs. Then suddenly the universe says, oh, you can't have four. Alex, you know, Trent Alexander-Arnold ends up pulling his hamstring, whatever it may be, and then he pulls himself out. So you'd imagine that, okay, now with that space, maybe, you know, include somebody like a Jesse Lingard who's really unlucky not to go to the Euros. That has to be said, considering how well he played for West Ham and the fact that he's one of our informed attacking players. The fact that he has more, I think he's only third in terms of goal contributions overall in the league, right? And this is halfway through the season after, I um, think, Harry Kane and Ignacio, right? So he's playing amazing out of his skin for West Ham. For him not to go to the Euros, especially considering how versatile he is, the fact that he's got international experience with England, the fact that he's a very good positive influence to the dressing room, everyone seems to like him. That's actually a player that you could legitimately just bring along as a cheerleader who would be good vibes, who wouldn't be moping and you know having a sour face if he didn't get picked but when he did get if he does get included in Alex to help the team he's going to give his all because he loves playing for England but then the other players haven't necessarily played it's just I don't know it's just a really really interesting and weird time to be an England fan it really really is it's going to be an absolute shit show you just know it um you just know it's going to be a shit show like I think of people like even like a James Ward Prowse he must be super unlucky too He's looking at General Henson coming on for I don't know, 45 minutes into the He came on for a second half, I think, against Romania. He misses the penalty that he probably shouldn't have taken, right? Um, what's his name? Dominic Cavalier basically wins the penalty on his own. He ends up, you know, kind of flicking the ball into the box and then, you know, going to it with his head, connecting with the Romanian player's foot. He keeps giving us obviously dangerous play in the box. He gets the penalty and he gets a chance to, you know, maybe score a goal. Uh, for England in front of his family you know first friendly the last friendly until the Euros actually start for real get his confidence up and then you know captain's captain fantastic Jordan Henderson like he reminds you of every single player that I've ever played with in a team who's kind of gone on to have trials for like professional clubs but he's crap right somebody that's just got all fitness like all kind of he's like a less sort of impressive version of a James Milner, right? James Milner has actually got a lot of technical ability, right? He's obviously a very versatile player, can play legitimately anywhere in the park apart from up front. But Jordan Henderson is just such an engine room type player, the kind of player that you definitely saw at trial. You just couldn't understand why he keeps getting picked to go to go trial for these pro clubs. But then he's got, you know, he's hella fit. Um, he, you know, doesn't really have any vices. He just eats, sleeps and breathes football. His dad's basically bred him to play football. Like, it's all kind of all football related. He does that whole hand behind the back thing when he's talking to the press and all that malarkey. Yeah, you know, me and the boys did a good job. It's just a shambles. It's just a shambles. And he's, if anything, he's one of the players that really does benefit from the Liverpool system. He needs a good system. With Liverpool, he looks sensational. You take him out of Liverpool and put him to a regular midfield, he just 
is going to be a bit average. It's not his fault, but it's just is what it is. So to take a player like that, who's you know not in form, coming off the back of an injury, it just seems like suicide. Why would not just actually play, take actual people that can actually play football? at the moment who are on form James Ward Prowse has you know disgusting set piece delivery could be a great option off the bench versatile wherever that may be um, Jesse Lingard again on form and then you know now he's replaced Trent, Trent Alexander-Arnold with Ben White who isn't going to play especially if he's considering playing Harry Maguire you know Ben White would have been a good addition for England if Harry Maguire didn't go but because Harry Maguire is going who's definitely going to who's definitely going to play even though he's injured, what's the point of taking Ben White? Because he's not going to play the entirety of that flipping um, England thing. But then it makes me think that maybe he took Ben White because he knows most likely um, Jordan Henson is going to be injured. So he's going to probably end up pushing Ben White into midfield or something. It's just unnecessary. Like again, unnecessary. England always do this, whether it's Rain Rooney with his broken foot or Beckham with his method tassel. Like every, every flipping tournament, there's always one or two nonsense decisions when it comes to players that are injured or not injured. But because of their names and their profiles and who they play for and their sponsors, they just get taken along for the ride just for the sake of it. Like, what's the point? Really, what is the point? But, you know, I don't know, man. Football is frustrating. Like I said, United and England just like really getting on me tits really getting on my tits i can't deny it but you know it is what it is i guess we have to just kind of roll with the punches